Greetings, everyone. Uh, welcome to our Locked in Grace Culture Conversation, Episode 3. Wow, today is going to be a blast. Today is going to be beautiful and so much amazing because uh, with me today, I have a man of God that I respect so much, that I value so much, that I look up to. He's a man of God so close to my heart. And I'm so excited because I know by the end of this episode, you are going to be educated by the Spirit of God. You are going to be taught. You are going to be instructed in righteousness. You are going to be counseled from within. And you are going to be directed on what's the next move about your life and everything that concerns you. It's going to be beautiful. I want you should be there. Don't move. Don't move. And if maybe you're watching alone this episode, I want you should call that friend. You should call that relative. Call someone. Because what you're about to learn today is going to be beautiful. It's going to be exciting. Very, very beautiful. You have never seen anything like this. I just can't wait. So uh, let me introduce the one that I am with today. I know everyone is excited and everyone is is asking who is that man who is that man all right um welcome man of god thank you um i want you should introduce yourself to my audience because uh, of course everybody now knows you <laughs> but there are some people who just who are just so anxious to know who you are i want you can just introduce yourself to to the audience Right. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm so glad to be here. Thank you very much, uh, sir. It's a moment that I've been expectant. Wow. And uh, thank God that now I'm here. Hallelujah. Uh, I am Pastor David Gondwe. Uh, I'm, I'm raised in pastor of uh, Zomba Fountain of Victory Church International. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's who I am. Wow. Yeah, thank wow. you. Wow. Wow. Wow, so we have Pastor David. I know some of you, you know him. I know some of you, he has impacted you so much and you have got testimonies, I know. And tonight is going to just to inspire you because, um, man of God, you have taught me a lot of stuff. Yes. Starting from the time that I studied music, like a serious, serious music, I've learned a lot through your life. I've been mentored, I've been taught, uh, I've been instructed. I know uh, there is a lot of, testimonies that I have a lot of experience with you and the most beautiful thing about it is you have been my my pastor my mentor and I've been most the worship leader starting from the local church and even to now that you're in Zomba yeah so uh, I've learned a lot of things from you and that's why today I'm so excited just to have you in this in this in this show because I know that all the things that you have been teaching me throughout it, it you may not say it all you may not share it all but most of the important stuff you are going to share the same to the audience mm -hmm. now uh in this episode we talk more about worship mm -hmm. songwriting and creativity uh the very first thing that i want you can talk to the audience is what's worship according to your definition and i just want to, that's that should be the very first thing that you should define okay. uh what is worship according to pastor david the pastor david version of worship yeah all right um now we thank god yeah uh, yeah you know um i'm a man that loves worship exactly i'm a man that is i can passionate, testify passionate about worship mm. and uh i enjoy to worship the lord now if you ask me what is worship mm. um uh, first of all i would say uh worship worship is is a life is a life is a life of every child of god or wow. it's supposed to be a life Wow. of every child of God. Mm. Uh, uh, why am I saying that? It is because uh, worship is part and parcel mm. of who we are uh, as children of God. Mm. Yeah, so uh, it is not possible for one to be uh, a true, you know, mm. uh, a serious believer mm. and uh, never have this life of worship mm. uh, that I'm talking about. Mm. So, uh, you know, someone may be asking, what do you mean mm. the life of worship? What do you mean exactly. it's, it's a life? What are you trying to say? Mm. Uh, you see, uh, when you understand or you, you get deeper mm. uh, to begin to understand what worship is, mm. um, you you begin to see uh, from the scriptures mm. uh, that worship um, is is a liberation. 
Wow, hallelujah. Worship is a revelation. Wow. Worship is a revelation. Mm. What do I mean by that? It's a revelation of who God is. Wow. You see, true worship mm. culminates from that understanding. Hallelujah. You know, like, okay, sometimes in churches, yes, people yes. would say, okay, uh, they would have time of praise mm. and they would have time of, of worship. worship. Mm. So they would Quite say, praise and worship. Yeah, <laughs> praise and worship. <laughs> so they would say, okay, it's time for praise. Mm. They would praise and praise and praise and praise. Then after that, they would say, okay, now it's they will cut the worship. praise. It's time for worship. <laughs> and then they will start worshiping. That is not worship. Wow. That's not worship at all. Wow. Because you are just speaking something mm. which is not a liberation at all. Mm. It's not something which has been revealed to you. Mm. I'll give you a very good example. Uh, in the Bible. Yes, yes. In the Bible, in the book of Revelation, mm. the Bible talks about these creatures. Yes. You know, that worship God yes. day and night. Mm. And you know, sometimes you would start thinking and say, okay, how can something or someone continue to worship Day, know, and day and night every day you are worshiping day and night and and the bible says what they usually say is you are holy, holy. you are holy it's, a, it's the very same the words, very same words. Mm. you are holy and you know it, it may seem as if it's 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 not it's not practical mm. like you know just saying the same sense. thing mm. yeah but you see to them they don't just say it out of a mere knowledge that Hallelujah. you are holy. Mm. That you are holy comes from a liberation. Praise the Lord. And um, uh, uh, for example, uh, now this is just an imagination. Yes, you yes, know? yes. Some, some, something that would come in my mind and you know uh, uh, make me to begin to think and say, what, 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 what makes these people to say you are holy? Mm. I've already said over and over, again. over and over again, mm. and I've already said that it it uh, comes uh, out of a liberation, yes, right? Mm. So, for example, they would see like they are close to God, mm. so they see God, and the Bible shows us that the glory of God keeps on changing. Hallelujah! You know, keeps on changing, mm. which means every time they would see something mm. about God that they didn't see mm. when they were saying the first you are holy. Mm. So when they bow down and say you are holy, mm. probably the next time they are looking at him, they see something new, Hallelujah. something amazing, something glorious that will make them say, oh, you wow, are you are holy. Hallelujah. You so that's exactly what I was trying to say, that mm. it's, it's a liberation. Mm. It's something that comes you know, when your spirit has seen something, praise the you Lord. Know, it's not something that comes from uh, human thinking mm. or human mind. Praise the Lord. No, it's 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 a revelation. Wow. So, and this is supposed to be a life mm. of every child of God. Hallelujah. As I said. Wow. Yes. Wow. Amen. Powerful stuff here. Amen. I'm so excited. Well, sir, you have talked something. Uh, you have said worship is it's supposed to be a revelation. And now you have talked about the spirit. You have talked about that it has to be revealed to a human spirit. What's the connection between worship to a human spirit? And you're, um, I, from, your, from, from, from what you have said, you have said it's not from the mind. It's not something, it's not a fresh. I, I think now I, I get to understand and just like them that worship should worship him in spirit and in truth. What's worshiping in spirit and truth? And what is the real worship? That now we have defined that worship, uh, it's a life. But what is real worship now? Is it singing songs? Uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm a songwriter, I'm a musician, I'm an artist. Uh, I have heard people say, okay, sing uh, worship songs. But uh, what does it mean to say worship songs? Where is it all fitting in, in all these things? That's what I would like to know. And I think everybody just want to know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, you see, like I said, that um, you worship God with mm. your spirit. Praise the Lord. And when you check from the scriptures, mm. the Bible shows us that it is only your spirit mm. that understands 
who knows God. Hallelujah. And Praise it is the Lord. God mm. comes and reveals himself mm. to your spirit. Hallelujah. Like in Proverbs mm. uh, uh, chapter 20, mm. verse 27, mm. the Bible says, The spirit of a man is the candle mm. of the Lord, mm. searching all the inward parts of the belly. Hallelujah. You know, that, that speaks to us, that tells us that God comes and, you know, enlightens us mm. or uh, we know God by our spirit. Praise the Lord. So, you cannot worship God. Mm. Like I say, to worship, mm. it means something has been revealed. Something has been revealed. And, you see, mm. God cannot be revealed mm. in your mind. Praise the Lord. That's why, even up to now, we've got people that don't believe that God exists because they would like to understand God from their minds. Mm. God doesn't reveal himself to human beings from their minds. Hallelujah. He reveals himself wow. to, to them in their spirits. The so the only way man can have a very good relationship with God, mm. that is a, a man would know God is from his spirit. Wow. So you cannot... Um, uh, separate the spirit of man from worship. Mm. True worship has to culminate mm. from the spirit of man. Praise the Lord. Because that's the spirit that has been given an access mm. or an opportunity to know and understand God. Hallelujah. So every time uh, you uh, uh, open up yourself mm. as a person, uh, as, a, as a human being, mm. or as a person, you open up yourself and then you allow your spirit, mm. you know, uh, uh, to to see something in God, mm. it will see it. Hallelujah. Because your spirit has been given that access mm. to know God. Wow. And that's the basis of worship. Wow. So you've also you also you also asked about um, uh, songwriting. Yes, songwriting. Aha. Uh -huh. And then you say uh, is every worship song mm. a worship song? A worship song, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, wow. Not every worship song is a worship song. And why is it called before before you answer, why is it called worship song? <laughs> okay, probably maybe because uh the words which are used mm. in the songs are the words that someone that is worshiping God in mm. spirit and in truth, truth are the ways that he uses. Wow. It's like... Wow. Um, Hallelujah. Um, it's like... Um, uh, it's more or less like imitation. Mm. Okay? You can imitate something. Mm. You know, some someone can do something or can say something, mm. you know, from an understanding basis. Mm. And you can just speak that and say, oh, he said that. Mm. Oh, because he was worshipping God. Mm. So, I also have to say that. Mm. But, you see, what he said was as a result of what he had seen. Mm. Since you also said it's a revelation. It's a revelation. Hallelujah. So the one that, mm. you see, the one that is imitating doesn't understand because mm. he just thinks, oh, it's worship is when you say, oh God, you are holy. Oh God, you are beautiful. Oh God, you are amazing. That's not it. Mm. The one that said those words, he said those words as a result of what had been revealed mm. to him. By he, had his, seen he, he had seen it mm. in his spirit. So uh, not every worship song so-called worship song mm. it's a worship song mm. by the way uh worship if you listen to a worship song mm. that is that was really coming from the spirit of worship mm. probably we're also going to talk about yes, that yes exactly the spirit of worship, the spirit of worship. Uh -huh. hallelujah uh -huh. so a song that was coming from the spirit of worship mm. you listen to that song you can tell mm. you see you can tell that this man wasn't just singing mm. it wasn't just this religious worship mm. you see you you are you are you are affected by it exactly you, see, you are affected by it mm. so it's not every song that is you know called a worship song it's really a worship song mm. you know a worship song a true worship song comes from what i've just said now mm. from a liberation Hallelujah. that's why some of these songwriters they will tell you they just sat down and then they were meditating upon Praise God, the Lord. you know, mm. as they were meditating upon God, mm. you see, something was revealed to them, the you know, Lord. something amazing mm. was revealed, and out of that, a song came Hallelujah. in. Hallelujah. Wow. See? Yeah, so probably, I mean, basically, I would say uh, uh, that's, you know, that's worship, mm. that's what worship is, and then, um, uh, uh, 
okay. that's the connection that's the connection between wow. worship mm. and you know the song and wow uh-huh. so yes. i have uh, in my in my in my in my in my time as a worship leader yes. but not only as a worship leader but being with you i've seen you are a person that loves songs a lot is uh most of the times you would even send me a song like listen to this song yes. <laughs> i don't know if you remember yes. but it has been that i've seen your passion for songs i've seen you are and I've, I've i've even i've ever even wrote da- written down a song with you together yes, yeah yes, I <laughs> we sat down and, yes. write, and wrote a song a power yes. of song which ministered to yes. the church which is yes. not yet he out has he has it done it for me, me. Yeah. exactly <laughs> <laughs> you're so passionate yes. uh, when it comes to music yes. when it comes to songs yes. um I want to know what's the now what's the connection between music and worship okay. what's how uh, or, or, how is it connecting okay. because most of the times our because you have said uh, worship is a life mm. how is the music coming into the life mm. how is the the rhythms the melodies the sound connecting with this and should we say that uh what's the act of worship mm. that maybe if i'm singing then that's the act of worship mm. how is it connecting and but that's the very first thing that i would like to know and mm. everybody would like to know mm. what's the connection between the songs mm-hmm. and now the worship ah, very yeah true. okay um like i said um worship is is a life mm. you know it's it's a life where you uh where a man uh, expresses mm. what he's seen in God. Praise the Lord. So you are expressing mm. what you've seen in, in God. God. And um uh like in songwriting mm. or la- not in songwriting but in songs. Yes, in you songs. Know, when you how do you connect a song and worship? And worship. Like I've said, it's, you can see something mm. in God mm. and you may wish to express it. Mm. Uh, in a musical way hallelujah you see, in a musical Lord. way mm. some they may want to express it like in a form of a poem so it's an expression it's an expression mm. it's, it's an expression of what you've seen mm. you know what you've seen in god Crazy. so uh like i like like that's what i was saying that mm. not every song is mm. a worship song mm. because there are some songs they are things that are presented in a musical way mm. but they are not worship mm. at all they are just singing about the environment about what is happening around mm. they are presenting those things in a musical way mm. so when it comes to worship and music it means you are presenting that which has been revealed to you about god in a musical way wow it's been revealed to you wow yeah wow it's so powerful yeah. this is so beautiful thank you very much sir uh one of the things that i would like to to know yes, um during the services when you're ministering um i have seen and i think i have also witnessed and i've loved also that i've been part that before you minister uh, most of the times you call for worship and you call for a, a worship leader to lead a certain song uh, to sing a certain song most of the times you always do that um and i have seen how after that experience after the songs after the worship i've seen great manifestation of the spirit of god uh the glory of god what's the connection between worship and the glory what's the connection between worship because okay we are coming from where the connection between songs and and worship worship. now what's the connection between now worship and and the glory of god God. it's what what makes it more attractive because okay we are coming from being revealed Mm, something mm -hmm. but now at this at this particular time you are in a service and you have read Mm, a song mm, and we are seeing great manifestation of mm, the spirit of god mm. what's the connection ah beautiful okay so we are going to get a bit deeper now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get your notes and your Bible. We are, get, we are going to get a bit deeper now. Exactly. You see, um, uh, worship, uh, like I was saying, mm. it's something which is revealed to you. Mm. And another thing that you have to understand about uh, worship mm. is that worship is fellowshiping. Wow. So worship is a fellowship. Worship is mm. a fellowship. Mm. Worship is a f- uh, fellowship between the human spirit mm. and ma- and the spirit of God. Hallelujah. You see. So when I say that something is revealed mm. to your spirit, 
that which is revealed to your spirit is revealed to your spirit by the spirit of, of god, god. Mm. because the spirit of god is god hallelujah and that spirit of god is mm. the one that is in us mm. so during that moment of worship mm. during that time that you are you know worshiping god and mm. all that the spirit of god begins to reveal certain things hallelujah. about god wow. to your spirit wow and it's a moment of fellowship mm. it's a moment of oneness mm. and it is during that fellowship that now you are able to see more in god mm. but not only that it is now it is a moment where something begins to happen mm. like there's there's always a rub off hallelujah rub you, off. yes wow. you you can't fellowship with mm. with god without having a rub off of something mm. from him you see So because something of, is happening with the man something is happening with mm. the man as you are worshiping God mm. something is happening with your spirit mm. and that which is happening with your spirit begins to overflow mm. even to your flesh Hallelujah. even to your body wow. even to your mind wow. you know and at that moment because it's a moment of fellowship you see there is a stirring even of the power and the glory of god from Hallelujah. the inside Hallelujah. remember that glory is inside of praise us praise the lord yes sir. so mm. that glory is stirred up mm. and it is a, a a moment where you you create an atmosphere mm. the moment where you you are you are uh, fellowshipping with god mm. and then something is being rubbed off mm. of you you know and you have also created an atmosphere, atmosphere mm. you know for the manifestation mm. of that glory that is inside of Hallelujah. you during that worship mm. so that's the reason why i love to have that moment yes, of worship uh, hallelujah you see that moment of mm. fellowshiping with god mm. you see i just want to have it mm. right? and after that moment and then there is that great manifestation mm. you see even in the scriptures it's mm. there uh in acts mm. chapter 13 mm. the bible talks about uh uh these people uh these disciples or mm. prophets and, and uh, apostles that were fasting mm. and they were fasting and they were fasting and what worshiping mm. you know they were fasting and you know ministering to the lord that's yes, what the bible says mm. ministering to the mm. lord and worship is ministering to the lord wow hallelujah you are ministering to, to, the, to the lord wow you we have always heard like ministering to the people yes now we are talking about ministering, ministering to, to the, the lord, lord. that's why i always tell people when you mm. come to church there are two things that happen mm. you come to church to be ministered to mm. god ministers to us mm. through the man of god mm. and we also go there to minister to him praise the lord and the only way we what can minister privilege. to him mm. it is through worship hallelujah that's why you cannot take a with that moment of worship mm. in church otherwise it means you are just going there mm. to be ministered to mm. but god wants also to be ministered to i mean you're just going there to be ministered to not mm. to minister to, to the, the lord. lord but god wants also to be ministered to mm. and it is through the moment of worship that's the reason why he said he seeks worshipers yes. seeking them those that mm. worship him in spirit, spirit and, and in truth, truth. those that can mm. re, um, lay down their spirits mm. before him they can release their spirits before him because mm. that's where uh true worship comes as I've already said mm. from your spirit mm. anything that's not coming from your spirit it must not it's not acceptable wow god cannot accept it wow it has to come from your spirit praise the lord and things are revealed to your spirit wow because god knows you mm. can't truly worship him mm. if nothing of him has been revealed hallelujah and you know the beautiful mm. part of this praise the lord the beautiful part mm. of it that which has been revealed mm. to you mm. remains with you hallelujah wow That's the beautiful wow. part of worship. If wisdom has been revealed to me, I become wise. It remains wow. with you. Hallelujah. That's why you find worshipers. Mm. They've got a different type of life. Mm. A true worshipper. Mm. They have got a different type of life. Mm. Because whatever is revealed to them about God, mm. it stays. Wow. Praise you can't Lord. fellowship with God and mm. your life remains if Hallelujah. love has been revealed mm. to you that you know you worship 
and you know that God is a God of love. Mm. And then say, oh God, you are love. Mm. You're not just saying that you are love because you know the Bible says that God is love. God is love. No, it's something that has been revealed it's a in your spirit. Praise the Lord. That remains with you. Mm. That can never be taken out Hallelujah. from you. That's why man needs worship. Man needs worship. Wow. It's a need man for every man. Worship. <laughs> it's a need for every man. Mm, you cannot take away that. Mm -mm, you mm. can't take away worship. Mm. Man needs it. Because the more you worship him, the more you get to know him, mm. the more you are changed. Mm. The Bible talks about, uh, in uh, should be uh, First Corinthians chapter, um, Second Corinthians chapter 4, mm. chapter 4. Mm. Uh, the Bible talks about that, uh, no, chapter 3. Chapter it says, three. we all with open faces as Church. beholding mm, the glory of, of God, God. Mm. we are changed. Hallelujah. How do you behold the glory? There are mm. two ways. Number one, by the word of God. When the word of God is being ministered Hallelujah. to you, you behold the glory. Mm. Number two is through worship. Mm. Through worship, you are able to behold the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Since you are changed. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you very much, man of God. Okay. I'm getting excited. Hallelujah. Again, right where I am right now, the atmosphere is so changed. Thank you so much, man of God. Now, let's talk about a worship leader. Yes. Yeah, I, we, um, we have talked about worship. We have talked about, as a revelation, uh, worship as fellowship, uh, as something that is a need to a man. Now, as a worship leader, I want you to talk about the worship. What are the qualities for if I want to be effective in this ministry? Mm -hmm. Because now, okay, we have talked worship as a life. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to talk like worship as, as ministry, mm -hmm. uh, as me as a worship leader. What do I need? Do what do I need? How can I be effective to lead uh, the people in church? How can I deliver? How best can I deliver? Uh, how best can I can I give what people are demanding and what God is requesting is requiring out of me? Yeah, what are the qualities? Uh, you can speak as many qualities that you want. <laughs> no, I uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't speak so many qualities, mm. but I'll just point pinpoint one. Wow, which is the major one? Yes, sir. Major one. Mm. You've already said a worship leader. Mm. So you see, as a worship leader you have to understand your responsibility. Wow. You see, like as a pastor, mm. I know my responsibility. Mm. My responsibility is to open the eyes of the people, mm. to give them an understanding of who God is. Hallelujah. That's my responsibility. Mm. But you see, I can't give them an understanding of something that I don't understand. Wow. You see, so mm. first of all, I have to understand it. Mm. That's why Paul in Galatians, mm. he says, God came and revealed his son in me mm. so that I can preach him mm. to the world. Praise the Lord. So you, you preach that which has been revealed to you. Now, the same, it comes to worship. Mm. I, see, I always say when I'm talking to my, uh, to my worship team, mm. this is what I always tell them. I always tell them, I say, you see, I say, leading worship mm. is more or less like being a pastor. Wow. Wow. Our ministries are not mm. that different because your ministry is to lead people mm. to worship, mm. to lead people into this atmosphere mm. of worship. Mm. Like, Which takes us back that it's a life. It's a life. Mm. It's a life. So that spirit of worship, everywhere you go, even if you want to start worshiping in the minibus, you know, you can just do like this and then you start worshiping. Wow. You find, stay, you are It gone. means there is no any definite place that mm, mm. this is the place that uh, you're supposed uh, to worship. No, no. You can worship any, any place. Any place. And anyway. Anyway. As mm. long as that spirit of worship is functioning in your Praise life. Praise the Lord. So every worship leader must have that spirit of worship functioning. Mm. And you see, if that spirit of worship is functioning in, in their lives, mm. that spirit of worship becomes transferable. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. Praise the Lord. Yeah. It's mm. very, very important. You see, it's like, like I've already said, as mm. a man of God, mm. if 
if I want to preach and teach on giving mm. and I don't have that giving spirit mm. or the give the spirit of giving mm. it means whatever I'm going to say mm. would just be mere words exactly we preach what we are you see mm. you preach what you are Jesus says for my words are spirit, spirit and, and life, life. Mm. Whatever I am releasing to you, mm. I'm not just saying things. Praise the Lord. There's, there's things that are coming on your life and they're going to influence you as per what I'm telling you. Mm. So what Jesus was saying had power to influence them because wow. it was a spirit. Praise the Lord. You see? So as a worship leader, if you have that spirit of worship on you, it becomes very easy to transfer it. Wow. You see? To transfer to the rest of the group mm. so that they can be in the same mm. You see, they can enjoy in your grace. Like I said, there mm. are some, they are coming from home. They don't even have that spirit of worship. Mm. So they will enjoy under your grace, under your spirit of worship mm. that you've been able to transfer They will become it. participants. Yeah. Mm. Participants mm. of that. Mm. And then they will begin to worship God. Wow. You see, Hallelujah. and then at the same time, you are also training them. Mm. They are also, you know, nurturing that spirit of worship mm. in them. Every now and again, they come to church, they are nurturing that spirit of worship mm. in them. And then you find in no time, it's also on them. Praise the Lord. So, wow. Uh, wow. Hallelujah. Praise mm. the Lord. Yeah, so like you've asked, what, what's, what, what are the qualities? What are the qualities? The major qualities. Quality. is this one. Mm. You see. And then, uh, the other one is the word of God. The word of God. Hallelujah. You see. You have to be someone. I'm excited that, because everyone says Pastor David is the man of the world. <laughs> yeah, the man of the world. I love the word of God very much. Hallelujah. You see, the word of God. Mm. You, see, you have to, 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 to be filled with the word of God. To Remember, be filled with the word uh-huh, of God. He says, those that worship him must mm. worship him in spirit mm. and, and in, in truth. truth. Mm. So the truth there is the word of God. Mm. Wow. You have to know God. Mm. You see, you have to know God because sometimes because there's that spirit is on you, mm. but because you don't know the truth, you may be worshiping mm. but saying the wrong things. Mm. Wow. I don't know if you are getting what yes, I'm saying. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, mm. you may be worshiping, but mm. you see, because you lack the truth. Mm. Or you might have seen something in God, mm. but for you to present it in the right the way. The way it's supposed to be presented. Mm. But because of the knowledge that you mm. have, it's so little. You present it like, you know, mm. sort of. Mm. You understand? Wow. Because you you have seen something, mm. but you've got little knowledge Praise the Lord. of who God is wow. and of how you can present and express the things of God. Wow. So. A worship leader must be someone who is full of the word of God. He's given him or herself to the word of God. Mm. And then, uh, of course, uh, wow. should also be someone that loves songs. Wow. Yeah. Someone that loves songs. <laughs> yeah, not just songs, of course, worship songs. Worship songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone that loves to listen to mm. worship music. Mm. Wow. You see, like... It, like I've said, sometimes you listen, you can tap something mm. from other people. There is a sharing. There is a sharing. Mm. You see, you can tap that spirit mm. from someone. You see, as you listen mm. to others. Praise the Lord. You see, and then at the same time, you're also naturing that spirit. Mm. Because it, it has to be nature. It has to be nature. That spirit, like I've said, talked about the spirit of prayer. Mm. You've, you, 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 there have been people with such stories that all oh, they used to be prayerful mm. it was functioning on them but mm. it's something that you have to nature mm. otherwise you find at, uh, at a certain time mm. it's not there it means as a worship leader you can even glow in your worship leading yes wow you can there is always grow. a room for growth there's always a room for growth mm. you can grow in your worship leading mm. but at the same time it means also if you can grow then you can also <laughs> hallelujah <Amen>. wow <laughs> wow i've been steered by i'm going Amen. i'm so inspired Amen. wow i've learned a lot Amen. i've really learned a lot thank Amen. you very much man of god for Amen. this this is a treasure this is a gift Amen. um you know my getting i've gotten this Amen. really this is really something that i needed Amen. and i know that everybody needed it Amen. now as we are concluding i think yes. we are in with few minutes 
Um, it seems as if we should be here for <laughs> But uh, what has been your experience? We want to talk about locked in place. Yes. <laughs> what has been your experience? Um, of course, it's so humbling to ask you this question. Yeah. <laughs> what has been your experience with locked in grace album yeah. and locked in grace book? I think yeah. It's, wow. Amazing, amazing materials. Wow. I'll start with the, the, the album. The album, yes. Wow. Wow. You see, it's like every song it's it carries its own anointing special anointing you see one thing i love about uh that album and the songs in that album is that you know they are heavily anointed you you listen to them you can sense Mm. the spirit of god moving wow and every time i listen I'm always rejuvenated. Hallelujah. You see, I'm wow. always refreshed mm. by the Spirit. And it's always amazing. Wow. Amazing. Hallelujah. Amazing. Wow. You talk about the book. Wow. Beautiful revelations. Wow. Beautiful and amazing revelations. Wow. You know, you read it. You see, you can, you can, you can um, uh, sense, mm. you know, see mm. the grace of God. Wow. You know, the waking of the grace of God. Mm. It's so liberation, so touching. Praise the Lord. You know, these are materials that I treasure. Mm. I treasure wow. so much. Wow, I'm so humbled. <laughs> I treasure so much. Thank you very much, Father God. You have talked about grace. Yes. Uh, what is grace to you? And how, and how is it effective in our days now? Like, what's going on around, everything that is happening around. How is it important? Because this we are calling it locked in grace culture conversation. What's what's the what's the law of grace? And what's what is grace according to in simple definition? And am I exempted from grace? <laughs> Can I choose that I want grace or I don't want it? Yeah, that's 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 the last question that I would like to ask. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Uh, you see. I know there are a lot of definitions of grace. about grace. Like thousands like of thousands them. of <laughs> definitions which are all right. Mm. You know, there is no no one uh, definition that is wrong. Mm. You see, uh, people say grace is unmerited favor. Mm. You know, uh, you, you, you get something that you don't deserve. Mm. But you see, uh, I also say grace is the manifestation of the love of God. Hallelujah. Wow. Praise see, the Lord. Wow. It's, 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 it's the manifestation mm. of the true love of, of God. God. Wow. You see, grace qualifies you. Mm. You see, gives you a platform mm. that, you know, uh, on your own, you could not have been there. Hallelujah. Wow. Not only that, mm. it's the same grace that empowers you mm. and gives you certain abilities mm. that maybe by yourself mm. you could not have had. Been. After you have been qualified, yes. then you are enabled. You are enabled by Hallelujah. the same grace. Wow. You see. Mm. So, no one is exempt from mm. grace. You see. No one is exempt from grace. Everyone needs it. Ev- everyone needs it. Mm. It's a must. Mm. In order for us to be effective, mm. to function effectively, mm. we need the grace, grace of, of God. God. We need wow. it. Uh, wow. No one is exempt. Hallelujah. Uh, wow. Oh, sh- my God. It's, it feels like I should go and edit my book. <laughs> <laughs> and I should add this. Wow. These are like changing materials. Yeah, for sure. All right, sir. Uh, uh, thank you very much for being here tonight. But there is someone here that everything that we are talking about, it did not make sense. Yes. Maybe because he doesn't know Christ. Yes. He hasn't received Jesus Christ as his personal savior. Yes. To someone who is who is now hopeless, maybe uh, he didn't even know why um, why he had to to tune on in the on this channel why he had to subscribe maybe has just found the conversation going on right now uh someone who is passing a lot of stuff and things doesn't make sense uh maybe and we're even in this one where there is all this covid 19 and all this stuff someone who doesn't have hope doesn't have the future feels like doesn't have the future doesn't have hope i want what can you say to that person yeah uh the answer is christ Mm. you see Jesus, the Bible says, came to die for our sins. Mm. And uh, he came to die for all. 
Hallelujah. He came to die for all. Praise the Lord. And you know, apart from all those problems that you know, when Jesus comes in your life, mm. He's going to change your life, which mm. is for sure. Mm. But you see, it is also about your future. Uh, you there see? is a future. There is a future because there are some they say, no, I don't have problems. Mm. I'm not in problems. You know, I'm okay. I'm okay. But mm. you still need Jesus. Right. You still need him. It doesn't matter how okay you it are. It doesn't matter how okay you mm. are. So if you are you are listening or you are watching to this uh, channel and you have never given your life to Jesus Christ, mm. the Bible says he is that embodiment of grace. Hallelujah. The grace that we are talking about. Hallelujah. You will mm. receive it through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Without him, you mm. can't receive that grace. Mm. You see. Uh, we talked about all the spirit of worship and all that. They are all found in Jesus mm. Christ. You receive Jesus Christ, your life will be well with God. Mm. So if you are watching or you are listening to this uh, uh, channel, uh, I would ask you that you give your life to Jesus. Mm. And giving your life to Jesus is very simple. Uh, wherever you are, you just close your eyes and mm. I'm going to pray with you. Mm. I'm going to pray I'm going to pray with you mm. that you receive Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Amen. And I want you to say these words. You say these words from the bottom of your heart. Mm. If you mean them, God is listening. Mm. He's listening in heaven. Mm. But those words they have to come from your heart. Mm. And God will hear you. Will hear you. Amen. No matter the trouble that you are going through right now. Amen. God is hearing you now. So, uh, let's pray. You say, Father, Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I come to you in the name of Jesus. Today, today, I've heard your word. I've heard your word. And today, and today, I believe, I believe that Jesus Christ, that, that Jesus Christ came and died for me. Came and died for me. And I also believe, and I also believe that he is alive today. That he's alive today. He rose from the dead. He rose from the dead because of me. Because of me. And today, and today, I take you Jesus, I, I I make Jesus. I make Jesus as the Lord of my life. As the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. Into my spirit. I am born again. I am born again. I am your child. I am your child. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Man of God, while we're in the same spirit, um, there are people that will just want to participate in the grace that you have spoken. Yes. I want you can just pray for the grace. Yes. Anyone that needs anything, yes. uh, I want you can just pray for them. Whether it's a worship leader, who needs strengthened to be strengthened, needs to carry the mission and the assignment effectively. I know we have talked a lot of stuff, but I believe in the power of administration i believe in the power of impartation yes. i want you can just do it right now right. Yeah. uh wherever you are i want to pray for you mm. we want to release the grace of god in mm. your life mm. uh in the name of jesus yes, I shall tell you. lord i pray so for divine you. strength Amen. in jesus mighty name Amen. for those that are sick I'm commanding divine healing. Amen. Be healed in your body. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I command that pain to leave you. Amen. I command that demon to leave you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I pray that those doors are opening for your life. Praise the Lord. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. I speak favor. Hallelujah. I speak grace upon grace Praise in your the Lord. life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is well. It is well. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, man of God, for coming today. Thank you so much for receiving the invitation. I was so honored and I was so thrilled. I was so excited when when you told me I'm really coming. I danced in my room. I'm like, finally, I have the man of God on my show. Thank you very much. Whatever you have spoken to us, I'm sure that we are going to use of it. Your words haven't gone in vain. It has been a seed that has been planted in my heart and to everyone that, has, that is listening right now, everyone that is watching right now. And I know this will go beyond the told, will go beyond uh, each and every nation. And they have received this. Thank you very much. And to my viewers, 
guys thank you very much for for being who you are you are really a great blessing you are really um you are really a treasure thank you very much for following me thank you so much I've, I've, i'm always checking your testimonies and your feedback on my facebook page on my instagram and even here on youtube uh thank you very much for the testimonies for every feedback that you are always giving thank you very very much remember i've just released uh, my latest uh, music video greatest story it's trending and it's blessing life please right here on youtube come and see it go and see it check it out and even share the link to your to your audience and to your community and let somebody know about jesus till next time thank you very much for watching bye